Hey guys, good morning, it's Callie. Today I'm going to show you how I created these really cool crescent moon and star mobiles out of recycled CDs. For those of you who know me know that I can't get enough of hanging things in my windows. And I've made recycled CD art in the past. I've made these mandalas. I'll put all links below to previous projects. Um, I can't get enough of hanging things in my windows. But I was inspired this week by Secret Soto. She made some feathers out of CDs. I'll put her link below as well as all the links to everything I reference in today's video. So if this looks like something you're interested in, I would love it if you stick around and I'll be happy to show you how I did it. Okay guys, let me show you what I used. I used some blank CDs. I have a roll of duct tape, a pair of old sturdy scissors, some 22 gauge floral wire, some wire tools, so a pair of snips, and round nose pliers, flat nose pliers, I also used a drill with my safety goggles and an old wooden cutting board to drill into or to prevent drilling into. Some jump rings, size of your choice or you can make your own out of the wire. And I also used these swivel hooks these are from the fishing department. They just allow the, it to hang freely and to swivel. So these are optional, but they make it fun. And then to decorate, I used a variety of things. I used some alcohol inks. These are Tim Holtz Adirondack inks. Love these. They're permanent on non-porous surfaces. They're great. I use some of my DecoArt Media Misters. These are also permanent and they're acrylic and they're wonderful. Love them. I used some metallic paint, acrylic paint. I used some nail polish from the dollar store. This is holographic and had some glitter in it. I just wanted to try all different kinds. I did use my Saison ink pads and a couple of smaller stamps and then I also used some alcohol in a spritz bottle I used a little sponge for the paint and then for the dangles I used a variety of seed beads and charms of your choice. Had some crystals here that were from an auction sale from an old chandelier. I have some homemade bead dangles that I made out of recycled garbage bags. I'll link the video below. I made those into charms. You can, you know, again, let your imagination be your guide, but that's what I chose to use. And I'll see you back here and we'll get started show you how I did it. Okay, the first thing that I did was to trace out my crescent. And you can use anything circular, but we want to approximate the shape of a crescent moon. So you can use, I'm going to use the inside of my duct tape circle here. And I'm just going to trace around on the inside. And this is what we're going to cut out. Okay. Now you're going to be able to trim this down. All right. At this point, I'm leaving the cover, the protective covering over this. We will take it off, but right now it's easier to see the lines and these come off really easy with alcohol anyway. 
So you're just going to take your scissors and go in very slowly and carefully and start cutting. Okay? And take your time. These can shatter if you're rough with them or you go too fast. But just go around. Okay? All the way around. And you'll be able to cut out this circle. Save the circle. Save all your scraps. They're wonderful for mixed media. All right. Now I have one that's already cut out and trimmed, and I'll show you in a minute. But I just wanted to give you the gist of what we're doing here. Okay. All right. Save this piece. This is what we're going to cut our star out of. And it's just magical. So now that we have this, we're going to take off the covering and we're just going to use some duct tape here. Just take a piece, sticky side down, and put it down and pull it up. And it comes up in little sheets on the tape. If you're a mixed media fanatic like I am, and my friends, you'll save this stuff and use it in your projects. Okay? So, again, it's very tedious. I left in a lot of these little pieces because I thought it added, you know, more texture. But you can go all the way around and make it totally blank. All right? But for the purposes of this video, I've already completed one. And I have it right here. And like I said, I left a lot of these pieces in here, okay? So then the next step is just to decorate it. And this is the fun part. And I did a lot of them that I'll show you as an example. And then I'll also demonstrate uh, how I did one as well. But I just, let me show you. Uh, let's say for instance, all right. Now the alcohol inks are a lot of fun too, but this one I'll just do little bit of this metallic acrylic paint and I'm just going to dab it around. Lots and lots of texture. Okay. You could do both sides if you want. And these are not opaque at all. This is still translucent. These will still catch the sun. All right. This is just one example. And then when that's dry, I'll show you what I did. I did a few with a base like this. And then once that was dry, I went in with some of my alcohol inks and my uh, Deco Art Media Misters. And I'll show you some examples. This one here was just done with a Media Mister. And I did it on a blank CD. And I just sprayed this mister on it and I let it just drip. And that's what we got with this. I love these things. Okay. I'll show you some more. I also did this one is just like I did here. Same thing with a combination of the deco art. Uh, this one's in cyan, and this is shimmering turquoise. So that's what we got with this. You could do whatever you want, you guys. You could do all different colors. Like I said, you could collage. There's another one that was done that same way. This one was done with the Adirondack inks. And I just put a few drops down and sprayed them with some alcohol and a mister so it kind of splattered a little bit and then on top of that obviously you let it dry in between layers on top of that I went in with one of these stamps and this one I used my stays on in white I was just exploring different ways of adding texture so that's how I did that one. And then I did the same thing with the Adirondack ink. 
spray it with the alcohol and then this one I did with the black stays on and another stamp oh wait this was the white one not that it matters and this is the black one that I used I just think it's so beautiful and they you know catch the light and all those little flecks that are left from the CD coating is there just gorgeous this is a combination of the just what we did the metallic paint and then I did the shimmer misters on top and I took a straw and blew the paint with a straw to make it just kind of be abstract and spread out like that so these are just for your inspiration you guys like I said let your imagination guide you and then last but not least it's definitely one of my favorites I did that paint and then the shimmer misters on top I did both the turquoise and the cyan and I blew it with the straw and then I did a coat of this nail polish on top. This was a dollar. So, okay. And I'll show you what I mean. I'll do one more, the one that we just did. And they dry so quick. Um, let's see. I'll do the Shimmer Mister. I didn't want to get this all over my... Let me get some scrap paper here. Doesn't matter which side you do. You could do both sides if you want. These are just so much fun. You know, I like it very abstract. You could get as fussy with this as you want. Um... And I just kind of let it run, you know, however you want to do it. You can put some of these um, alcohol inks on. And I'll show you with the spritz. And then I like to play because, you know, it's not a good project unless your hands are covered. But just play around, see what you get, you know. And then if you wanted to stamp this, obviously let this dry and then you could stamp directly on it. Or like I said, the, you could do the other side, you know, add that nail polish just watch out for anything containing acetone because it will melt the CDs. All right. So once you are done playing with your moon shapes, and I'll set this aside and let that one dry, you're going to have, you're going to want to do your stars. And so all we did here was take that remaining uh, piece that you cut out of the middle and I drew with a Sharpie right on the CD. I'll show you on this one. Just draw a star and get as big as you can. Well, not as big as you can, but I broke a few of the points making these because it was a little too delicate. So you want these to be on the larger side, but just draw out a simple star and these cut, cut out very easily and it's the same thing and what I did was I just cut straight on the line and then I went around like I skipped one because like I said these want to shatter and the smaller you cut them the smaller the pieces are the more they really want to shatter so just go around until you get your stars cut out the same way that you did all right and I have a bunch of those already done and I did the same thing with these I call I'll see I just talked about breaking them there you go 
All right, I did these already, and these I just colored with the uh, Adirondack inks. You could use a Sharpie marker, anything alcohol-based. Okay, so these are your stars. And if you don't like the lines in the stars that are left, if you use to draw, like I said, they wipe right off with, um, with the alcohol. All right, so get all those cut out. And then we are going to drill. All right, so I'll be right back and we'll get that set up. Okay, so now we're going to put the holes in. And like I said, if you don't have a drill, you can use however, whatever method you would use to put a hole in something. But I have seen people heat up nails or the tip of an awl. That'll go through plastic too. But I'm just going to use my Dremel and putting on my safety glasses. You can put your dangles wherever you want or none at all. I'm choosing to hang a star from the point here and we also need a hole to hang it from the top and I'm also going to do a dangle at the bottom. So we're going to do one here, one here, and one here. You're also going to have to do one in your star. So I'll show you an example of one and then I'll come back when it's finished. Put them however you want. And I don't measure anything out. You can if you want. But it seems to work itself out as far as the weight and, you know, the way it hangs. So I don't get too crazy with measuring. Okay. I do this on the cutting board, so obviously, so I'm not cutting a hole into anything, but so I'm going to do, you know, I'll come back when these are all drilled and then we're going to hang our dangles. See you in a minute. Okay, so this one has three holes, like I said, top, bottom, and here. And if the rough edges are there and they bother you, you can sand them with sandpaper or I just used an emery board and went over the edges lightly and got rid of those burrs. Also did the star, and now we're ready to assemble. Like I said, you can use jump rings, which I'll use, or you can use wire, or you could use a combination. Um, just to attach, for instance, we'll attach our star, and I'm sure you guys know how to do this. I like to use double jump rings because it gives more movement in the piece, but you can, you know, attach these however you'd like. It would be helpful if I could actually see right now. And then we'll take another one. Now, like I said, if you don't want to use jump rings, and I'll show you an example of how to do it with wire. I'm just going to put this here. Sometimes it's... There we go. I need a magnifying glass. For those of you who can see, there we go. How cool is that? All right. Now, if you don't want to use a jump ring, like for instance, at the top, I'll show you. I'm going to take some of this wire, and you can leave it on the spool or not. I'm going to cut it. Um, and we're just going to thread it through the top here. And I think at the top, I'll put these seed beads. Okay. And I'm just going to twist. And I have way too much wire. It's a big waste. But. What are you going to do? OK. 
cut it as close to the edge as you can. Be careful. Flying wire. And because this is just the attachment here, that's all you need to do with that. I'll show you how I strung some of the um, beads on the wire as well. And at the top, I'm going to put one of these swivel hooks with a jump ring. You could do either end, but it's going to be easier for me to hang it from this. So I'm just going to attach the jump ring on the bottom. And these are really cheap. You get them in the fishing department. Uh, a whole bag of them for like a dollar fifty, you know, with, for maybe like ten to twenty. So, and they just freely move. It's totally optional, but adds a cool element. Okay, so there's our top. And then the bottom. I'm just going to continue to use jump rings. And I told you guys, I have an assortment. I'm going to do a, a bunch of these. I'm just showing you this one, obviously. But, um, you know, kind of figure out how you want things to hang. So I thought I would use one of these. And this is a garbage bag bead that I made out of garbage bags. And I'll link all everything I've talked about uh, down below. So I'm going to hang that there. And then I have this which I also just strung beads on wire. I'll show you quickly how I did that. I'm sure you guys know how to do these things, but I'll use jump rings here. And then we're gonna hang this. I told you I got this at the auction. All right, so just as a for instance, I have some wire here and we will keep this on the spool. I'm just going to show you how I may, you know, I'll use this in another one. I'm just taking some random beads. For those of you who I'm not, you know, a professional, obviously. Um, but it's cool to use wire sometimes. I like to use fishing line a lot with my beads too, but sometimes it's a little slippery. So... We're just going to um, take our needle nose pliers and make a loop at the top and I'm just going to twist this as tightly together as I can. You can take your pliers and kind of tighten up the wire there. And then I'll snip this. Okay. And then, <clears throat> well, I'll cut this here. Same thing, we're going to just twist it. few twists. If it needs tightening up, tighten it up. You can see I poke my finger with the wire. Look at that. Injuries, injuries. Okay, try not to bleed on your project. And there we have it. Okay. So, yeah, I'm just going to continue assembling here. And I'm going to make a bunch of these. I showed you all the different examples, so I'm going to do a few more. And when I get these all together, I will show you. So I hope you've enjoyed this and this has inspired you. I told you I was inspired by Secret this week, who was inspired by... The universe who was inspired by, you know, we all inspire each other and it works and it's 
wonderful and a lot of fun. And I hope you check out everybody's video below and uh, give these a try. And if you guys do, let me know. And uh, I would love to see them and give you a shout out. And uh, that's that. So let me finish doing this here and I'll come back when it's all put together and I'm not bleeding. <laughs> see you in a minute. Okay, so this one is finished and I'm in love with it. I cannot wait to see this hanging in the window. I'm going to do a few more of these and I'll come back in the morning and we'll shoot these in the morning sun. I'm in love with this. I think they look great. So, yeah, I'll see you guys in the morning, okay? Okay, so it's not the morning, but I couldn't wait to hang it up. I just wanted to see what it looked like hanging. And right now this is hanging from my light fixture, but... Doesn't it look cool, you guys? Sweet. Okay, so this time I mean it. I will see you back here when I have a few more done. Well, good morning. I was up late last night putting the finishing touches on these. I completed seven in all, and I have them hanging all over the house right now. So I'll show you. Um, each one is unique and different, obviously. Um, and I love the way they turned out. So this one's hanging from my light fixture. Hang on, I'll show you a couple more. This one I have hanging in my kitchen on an existing mobile. And I just thought it looked cool. Um, I actually, I'll put all the tutorials for almost everything I've hanging in my windows below. I'll leave the playlist, but this one looks cool too. There's those garbage bag beads. I just love these. We got a few more. Hang on. These two I have hanging in the front living room window and they're similar, but a little different. These might be my favorite moons. It's the acrylic paint with the deco art misters on top. I just love the way that came out. And I also use chain to hang these two as opposed to the beads. And I don't know if I'll be leaving everything where it is right now, moving stuff around. So there's those two. And then there's three more. And last but not least, I have these three here hanging in my living room window. Love them. Which one is your favorite, you guys? It's hard to pick. So these will definitely be used for some gifts this year. I hope I've inspired you. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you have not yet subscribed, I would love it if you did. I make videos very frequently. And I love you guys. So take care. Peace and love. Talk to you soon.